Nahar Ladili is a 14-year-old Port Clinton, Ohio boy and YouTuber who was missing since he left for school on December 20, 2019. However, tragically, on January 14, 2020, police revealed that they located his body trapped in a chimney across the street from his house. They believe his death was an accident, not foul play. According to an alert sent out by the Ohio Attorney General's office and obtained by Heavy.com, the statewide endangered child advisory has been cancelled and the child has been recovered. The Attorney General's office provided this information, he was an avid user of social media, and he posted a slew of Madden gaming videos online, among others, as he sought YouTube stardom, this raised concern early on as the teenager even posted his phone number with one video. The community banded together, helping search for E and raising reward money to assist in finding him. The chief, Rob Hickman, repeatedly asked people to stop sharing rumors. It appeared that Idilly simply vanished into thin air. The boy's disappearance was featured on an episode of Live PD, and his mother has posted on Facebook and appeared on television about the case. Bring Me Home has raised more than $5,000. That page reads, On December 22nd our small community woke up to the news no parent ever wants to H. A child was Missy Dilly is a 14 years old, still a baby in most people's eyes. An innocent child, suddenly gone. With every day, every hour, every minute that goes by with no answers it gets harder for his family, friends and loved ones. It continues, we, the staff at Fisherman's Wharf are reaching out to you. E and his family need our help. It is our hope that you will think of E as one of your own, and try to think of what it would mean to you to have E home safely with his family, where he belongs. Let's remind E's family that they are not alone in the search to bring him home. Every single cent collected will go to the Port Clinton Police Department to aid in the reward fund for a dilly and it is our hope that with enough love and support from all of you that we can reach our goal. Almost four weeks after 14-year-old Idilly disappeared while walking to school, officials in Port Clinton, Ohio, said his body was found trapped inside the chimney of a vacant home. Dilly left his home on December 20 to go to his last day of school at Port Clinton High School before the holiday break. He never arrived. Port Clinton Police Department Chief Robert J. Hickman tried not to break down in tears during a press conference on Tuesday where he announced that Dilly was dead. This appears to be an accident, no foul play expected, said Hickman. Investigators re-canvassed the area on Monday and decided to search the summer home that was under renovations. There is no evidence of forced entry. Since there is a lockbox and anyone can go in and out of the house, we went inside to check the house, said Hickman. Reward money nearing $10,000 for information on missing Ohio teeny dilly when they entered the second floor of the house. They found Dilly's jacket and glasses next to a brick chimney and his body caught inside. Ottawa County's coroner office determined that Dilly's preliminary cause of death was compression asphyxia. The final autopsy report is awaiting the toxicology rep Port Clinton Police Department officers search for a Dilly, 14, who has been missing since December 20, 2019, in Port Clinton, Ohio. The chimney is between the second and third floors and is 9 by 13 inches, said Hickman. The hunt for Dilly began on December 22 and the Port Clinton Police Department has provided daily updates on its social media account. Port Clinton Police Department A poster posted by Port Clinton Police Department shows Dilly, 14, who has been missing since December 20, 2019, in Port Clinton, Ohio. Port Clinton Police Department investigators released a surveillance image of the last known sighting of Dilly crossing the street in front of his home on the 500 block of E. 5th Street wearing a thin maroon puffy jacket. 14-year-old Ohio boy E. Dilly missing for over a week, police concerned for his safety and Amber Alert was issued.
approximately 75 law enforcement agencies including the FBI, K-9 search and rescue teams and helicopters scoured over 150 acres to find Dilly. There was a police presence near the residence of Idilly in Port Clinton, Ohio, January 13, 2020. Members of the community band together to raise $18,095 in reward money for information leading to Dilly's safe return and assisted with the search efforts. Surveillance shows last known image of missing Ohio 14-year-old E. Dilly, police on Saturday. Over 100 members of the community volunteered to conduct their own search, according to the Search Party of Idilly Facebook group. On Tuesday the Amber Alert was cancelled because the child has been recovered, according to the Ohio Attorney General's office. Investigators say the 14-year-old Port Clinton boy was found standing on the floor of the chimney on the second floor of the home. Eleven investigates obtained the final report from the Bureau of Criminal Investigation on Thursday afternoon. The report states that he was found standing on the floor of the chimney on the second floor of the home. Above him was a V his coat, eyeglasses, sweatshirt, and a Cleveland Browns Baker Mayfield jersey were pushed through the hole. The vent cover was found near the cloth agents were able to reach through the vent opening to discovery. The wall was removed and the brick chimney was opened to recover the young teen. His body was in an advanced state of decomposition. The interior of the chimney measured 9 inches by 13 inches. He was found with his arms bent at the elbows and both of his elbows were up here his head. Clothing items were located on the floor of the chimney, including sweatpants, slip-on shoes, a white sock and a black sock. A blue flashlight also was located and retained as evidence. He was recovered on January 13 after being missing for nearly four weeks. The report says agents did not detect any odor of decomposition while examining the residence. It was only after removal of the bricks from the chimney area that agents were able to detect odors consistent with decomposition, the report says. His coat is seen hanging on the door. The report explained that a Port Clinton officer picked it up off its original location on the floor to assess whether it was possibly used, and placed it on the door. The coat was an Old Navy brand and size large 10-12 boys. Investigators say the boy climbed an antenna on the side of the home. He slid down the chimney feed first, and the clothing later was pushed through the hole to try to create space for him inside the 9-inch by 13-inch chimney. Many local rumors centered around the clothing and a mattress being found on the floor of the bedroom. But the report makes it clear that he was never inside the house. There were no signs of a sleeping area, of food being eaten, or of any use of the bathrooms. <laughs>